G'day guys and girls, how you going? It's your boy Jable1990 and welcome to an installation tutorial. Now this video is going to be how to install Optifine, the brand new versions of Optifine. For a matter of fact, this will work for 1.7.2, 1.7.4, 1 1.7.5 and even up to 1.7.9. Now I, did, I have had a lot of requests about this, not about making a video, just about asking how to install it. So I thought I would make this video for you guys, um, for everybody who's been wondering how to install Optifine, because believe it or not, with the newest version of Optifine, they have made it 100%, like they've, all, they've the newest update that they've had, that they've made it, um, it's all 100% done for you. All you have to do is download it and pretty much run it. The way that you used to have to do it before, which I'm probably confident to say that a lot of you guys have said, you know, you've got to come into this and do percent, app data percent all that kind of stuff you don't need to do that anymore that's the beautiful thing about the new version of optifine so um i have not loaded minecraft on this account this account that i'm recording on right now is on my computer but it's a different account that i've created so this is going to be running it for the very first time as normal so what you want to do before you do anything is obviously make sure that you have yourself logged in i'm just going to quickly do that right now it's going to take me a little while because it's the first time loading in now what you want to do is just make sure um the way that i'm going to be teaching you this is I'm going to be insinuating or you know just let's just say let's just say we're going to pretend that you've never even run Minecraft before so you want to run your Minecraft just let that run as normal you can keep it minimized and while you do that just come up to whatever your preferred browser is mine is Google Chrome and you're going to want to go to google.com easy that's step number one this is the hardest thing you have to do <laughs> now in Google all you want to do is literally type in Optifine do not put in Optifine 1.7.4, 1.7.5, whatever version it is that you're looking for. This is the website you want to look for, optifine.net. You can actually put that in your browser if you wanted to, just optifine.net. And this will bring, this is the official Optifine homepage. Okay, guys, this is, this is just what it is, okay? Now, don't worry about reading any of this stuff. This is all for kind of like FAQs and just, you know, um, a basic overall description of what Optifine does, you don't really need to know this. What you want to come up to is up the top, the top of the tabs here, these five tabs that we have here. We want to click on Downloads. And now this is where you'll come, it'll have a list of all the available Optifine versions available for Minecraft. So just pretend that you didn't like any 1.7 versions, you can scroll all the way down so you can even find the old 1.6 versions. But for this tutorial, I'm going to, you know, hopefully assume that a lot of you guys want it for 1.7.9. Now keep in fact, keep in mind I should say, that I have certain accounts that are still running Optifine 1.7.4, even 1.7.4. 1.7.2 and it will still work on 1.7.9 but let's do 1.7.9 so you got this very top one the top what whatever it is say if you guys watch this in a month's time it may not be for 1.7.9 it might be for 1.8 but whatever is at the top of the list is currently the latest version so right now 1.7.9 hd ud2 is the I, it's the latest version for Optifine and you want to click this download button the blue download button the mirror and the download button are different so you want to make sure to click download it'll bring you up to a loading screen it will take you to ad fly so I'm gonna mute this if there's an ad so you see up the top right hand corner here no okay it's not an audible ad which is good so at the top right hand side you have to wait for five seconds to see this yellow tab that says skip ad click that once and then it'll come up with all of these spam ads around it. But see this blue text here that says download Optifine 1.7.9 HD UD2. That's the one that you want. So just click that once. And you should see down the bottom left hand side of the corner here, if you're using Google Chrome like I have, if you're using like Firefox or Internet Explorer, it will come up with a different thing. But you'll notice a difference anyway. Uh, this will come up. It'll say... Uh, the thing about Google Chrome is that no matter what you download, it always makes you aware and just be on your toes about anything that you download could be harmful. But that's just like saying it could rain tomorrow. You know, you just got to be careful. <laughs> so it's not a virus or anything. You can even hit keep. So there you go. Now you can see that that's downloaded. Now what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to click, hold and drag that down into our desktop. Somewhere we're not going to really going to forget it. Now you can actually just minimize this. You don't need that anymore. Awesome. So now let's come back and check in our Minecraft. It's still actually loading for some reason. That's actually, it's actually quite, oh, it's because it's downloading, um, it's because it's downloading 1.7.9. 
So let me just quickly check on this. I'll quickly try to just restart it very quickly. There, oh, started up. <laughs> okay, so once your Minecraft started up, you're going to want to close it down again. I know that's really confusing, but the reason why you want to do that is because you want to down you want to make sure that um, your Minecraft loads all of its jar files. So once that's done, just close it. Wait for about five seconds just to be safe. Now this Optifine jar file that we downloaded, you want to double click it, or if you just want to be safe, just right click it and click open. This will not harm your computer in any way, shape, or form. You don't have to worry about that. Now this yellow text that you see here, this yellow three. It looks like a three. That's just that's that probably won't be on your screen. That's because I have this recording software called Fraps. So just ignore that. It'll come up with this little window saying Optifine HD Ultra D2 for Minecraft 1.7.9. This installer will op this installer will install Optifine in the official Minecraft launcher and will create a new profile Optifine for it. So this is what I was talking about before. This does all the work for you. So click install. It only takes half a second and Optifine was successfully installed. Now you might be thinking, what? That's a complete joke. But now look, I'm not cutting this recording at all. I'm going over to my Minecraft and double clicking it. Now pay attention to when this loads up down the bottom left hand side of the screen when you usually load up your profiles. I have to log back in. You guys will probably have to do the same. Look. I have not done a single thing. It has created the Optifine profile account for me. Now at the end of this video, for any of you skeptics who may be a little bit weary of how this works, I'll show you how when you get into your percent app data percent folder, how it works. But for now, we're just gonna click it, hit play, and it will take just a quick second just to make sure that it's updating this jar file, this current jar file. It'll take one quick second to load and it'll work perfectly fine. So you can see that everything looks completely fine. Let's just uh, let's start up a new single player world. And let's do this. Optifine test and log in. Now the only thing you might have to adjust here and there is your controls on what you want to zoom in and zoom out. So this is gonna lag a little bit because we're rendering new chunks. But if I, if I think mine is control, ooh. Hey, Mr. Cow, I can see you up close because Optifine has worked completely fine. So this is all going to do the, the default Minecraft stuff. But as you can see, guys, Optifine has installed. You can hit escape, go to options, and these are all like the, you go to video settings. These are all the benefits you get of Optifine. You can change all of these different, <laughs> you can change all these different um, rendering settings. If you have a very bad computer, I would recommend um, having it just under normal and short. So if, just, if you had a really, really bad computer, this is what Optifine is good for. It's good for optimizing your frame rate and trying to reduce Minecraft lag. Right, so I can pretty much buff that up because <laughs> my computer is pretty good. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's really, you know, it's you can do with it as you choose. Now, just one last thing, which I haven't really seen any other... Um, installation guides or tutorials cover if you wanted to change your control so right now if I hit left control that's how I zoom in but I actually have this key binded to another control if you want to change that hit escape go down to options right hand side go to controls now you just want to scroll down see how this is red that's because this is why I change my um, controls left control by default ever since 1.6 has been configured to the sprint button most of you guys should know that by now. So what I like to do is click this little tab, scroll it down. My Minecraft is lagging for some reason. I apologize about this. This shouldn't take too long. So all you have to do is just scroll down until where you can see see how that the left control is red. If you scroll all the way down, you'll, you'll notice it. Just keep scrolling and there you go. So see how it says zoom is now also configured to left control. All you have to do is left click that once it will open it up to, to you know project to change and this is just me you guys don't have to do this you can do whatever key you want as long as it's not left control or any other minecraft key that's already in use i like to use r r is a pretty good one some people like to use i don't know whatever but you just do that click done and that's it you know that's pretty much it optifine will be completely working now i'm just going to quickly close this down just to show you any of you skeptics who may you know be like oh okay i don't know i don't believe you that that's just worked completely fine so if you want to check it come down here do percent app data percent oh that's not percent come up to your dot minecraft which is always the top folder double click that 
come down to versions and you can see that it's created it's this did this automatically you guys witnessed it come into it and it's got the JSON and the jar file already created so another way that you can check is when you open up your Minecraft before you actually log in um, there's two main indicators one already demonstrated before I launched Minecraft itself it's down the bottom left hand side here Optifine the first way is to click edit profile click this little drop pad that's down here you can see that it's selected the release of 1.7.9 Optifine so you can see it's what that's pretty much saying is that Minecraft has identified Optifine as being a workable compatible Minecraft jar file and JSON file the, the second way and the final way is to come up here to these top tabs. I'll maximize this just in case you guys can't see that too well. Up the very top here where it says local versions editor, click that. And if you can see Optifine or any other version that you had, say you had Ray's Minimap or 1.7.4, they will all be listed here. And if you can see that listed in this tab, then it works. So that's how easy it is I hopefully I really do hope you guys um, found this tutorial helpful and if you could I'd really appreciate a like because um, I, I really do like helping people out and I did get a lot of requests from my friends and how to install Optifine and hopefully a lot of you guys who might need help on knowing how to install it hopefully this has helped you out and a rating would be re really much appreciated so hope you guys enjoyed it enjoy Optifine it's become so much easier and I'll see you guys next time